What is up everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC on Fox 8 prediction video. Let's get right into it because it's tomorrow. <laughs> okay, there are two ladies fights on this card. I'm excited. First one, I'm choosing Julie Ketsy to beat Jermaine DeRotomy. I'm choosing Liz Carmouche to beat uh, Jessica Andrade. I am choosing Robbie Lawler to beat Bobby Volker. Now, co-main event. I am just as excited for this as I am the main event. We got welterweights, uh, Roy McDonald versus Jake Ellenberger. I don't know who to pick okay my off top I was gonna go with Rory but as I was breaking it down a little bit more saw a couple interviews from Jake he pointed out some things uh, now I'm a little bit more in the gray area here uh, I think the technical advantage goes to Rory due to his camp he trains with GSP I think their game plan game plan is going to be excellent I think he has a few more tools in his toolbox than Jake however I think all of the X factors go to Jake. I think as far as who wants it more, I think it's Jake. Now, I don't want to take anything away from Rory. He's got the determination to be an excellent fighter, but he's a little laid back, a little too cool too sometimes, even in the ring. Uh, you know, he goes back and forth. I want to fight GSP. I don't want to fight GSP. So I just think as far as who's hungry for this, who needs to win this, I think that, that intensity goes to Jake. He could get overzealous though. That might be a problem. You don't want to do that with Rory, who's kind of the more cerebral fighter. However, tends to go to Jake. Strength. I think that slightly goes in favor of Jake. He's a little bit shorter, bulkier, has bigger muscles, muscles that eat up oxygen. So conditioning, I think Jake needs to end this early if he wants to win this. I think if this goes to the third round, it's almost uh, automatically going to go in favor of Roy. I think if he could tire Jake out, get him to use up that energy, use up some of that uh, uh, aggression, because he's been talking a lot of trash on Twitter. They've been going back and forth. I've been looking forward to this for a while, as have a lot of fans. <laughs> so I think if he could uh, get in his head, get him to get overzealous, get the fight into the later rounds, Roy could take this. I don't see him knocking him out. I can see Jake knocking Roy out. Again, in the earlier rounds. He could get a ground and pound ref stoppage as well. <sighs> and I said slight strength advantage for uh, Jake, but you know, I could be wrong. Rory might come in bigger than we've ever seen him, shoulders up to here, and he could be stronger because they're very evenly matched. Now, quickness. I think this is a big deal, especially if Jake is faster. If Jake is faster, Rory wants to take him down. So we'll see that as soon as the fight starts. If he's faster, faster to the punch, because I do believe that Jake definitely hits harder. <laughs> he hits harder than Roy. So I think if he's faster, Roy's going to take it down. Uh, Jake pointed out something in the interview. He said he's friends with some of the people who, with some of the guys who lost to Roy. They all said the same thing, that they gave him too much respect. So I went back, I looked at a few fights, and you know what? I agree. They gave him a little bit too much respect. Just because he got the stamp of approval from GSP doesn't mean he's GSP. He's Roy McDonald. I don't think that that's going to be a problem with Jake. I think he's going to come in and go for it. I think he's going to try to overwhelm him. But again, he's going to have to watch his gas tank. So, ah, whoever makes the biggest mistake, whoever makes the first mistake is probably going to lose this fight. It's very close. Closer than I originally thought. However, I am going to stick with my original pick. I'm going to call it for Roy. I'm 51-49% on this, guys. I, 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 you all, y'all. <laughs> I'm not very sure at all, but I'm going to go with Roy. Now, main event, flyweights, champion, flyweight champion, uh, Demetrius Johnson versus John Moranga, who is very aggressive and a great wrestler, and he's going to want to take Demetrius down. If he can do that, if he's not chasing Demetrius around the ring, around the octagon for the first few rounds, because if this gets into the later rounds, fourth and fifth, hands down, it goes to Demetrius. Okay, I love this division. The flyweights are awesome. They're all around the same skill level, so all the fights are very competitive. They go at it, man. Oh, they hit you with everything. They're very creative because, oh my goodness. So I think that John is going to have to get him early while he's at top energy because like with John Dobson, uh, John, Don, John Dotson, as soon as he gassed a little bit, slowed down a half step right around the end of the second round, early third. That's all it took for Demetrius to overwhelm him with offense. And Demetrius moves so fast. He's like, I'm going to take you down. And then you're down. He makes the decision and is taking you down simultaneously. Okay. As you're watching it, you see him here and then you just see him on the guy. You don't see the steps in between. That's how fast he moves. He doesn't just kick fast. He doesn't just throw fast punches. He moves 
like the Flash. It's crazy. Dude, he's like a video game character. I love Demetrius Johnson, y'all. Can't you tell? He's so exciting. So John is going to have to get him early because I don't think he has a better gas tank than Demetrius. I don't really think anyone does, man. So as soon as he gasses a little bit, he's going to get overwhelmed. So he's going to have to try to take him down early. Now, depending on the takedown defense that uh, Demetrius has, because he's so quick, and I believe he's quicker than John, if John's chasing him around the ring, or around the octagon, he's going to gas a lot quicker. And again, it's going to go in favor of Demetrius. I'm picking Demetrius on this. John can win. He has got knockout power. He's going to have to get him early. Get him early, John. Real quick, I just want to say, <laughs> Demetrius uh, Johnson, who I'm choosing, who is the champion. This is his uh, third title, well, no, second title defense. He still works a full-time job at a recycling plant. I don't want to get into talks about pay scale and what they should be paid. I just want to say, let's support the flyweight division. Let's demand to see them. Let's support them. That way, the champion, because a lot of fighters have jobs still, which I, I don't think any of them should, but a lot of them do. But the champion <laughs> should be able to quit his day job. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So let's support the flyweight division, all right? Those are my picks. Everyone, take care and goodbye.